Assalamu alaikum students, I am Vaseem Gram. This is the 16th lecture in a series of 45 lectures on digital logic design. Kaise aap inshallah achche honge? Pishan lecture mein hum baat kar rahe the 16 bit ALU ko implement uh, karne ki. Uh, jo problem humare saamne aaya tha, uh, jab aap 4 bit ke different chips aapas mein connect karte hain, to jo carry bit hai, wo ek 4 bit chip se dousre mein jayega, dousre se tisre mein, tisre se chauthe mein jayega. اس کی وجہ سے ایک ڈیلے آ رہا ہے اس میں اس کا وہ ہم حل ڈھونڈ رہے تھے کہ اس کو کیسے سالف کرنا ہے آج انشاءاللہ ڈسکشن ہم ادھر سے سٹارٹ کریں گے پر اس سے پہلے let us talk about the topics which we discussed in the last lecture last lecture میں ہم نے ڈسکشن سٹارٹ کی تھی بی سی ڈی ایڈرس سے بی سی ڈی ایڈرس ہم نے کہا تھا کہ بی سی ڈی نمبرز آف کورس ایڈ کرتے ہیں کیسے ایڈ کریں گے بیسکلی فور بٹ پیرل ایڈر چاہیے دو چاہیے ایک جو ہے پہلا والا فور بٹ بی سی ڈی ایڈر وہ دو بی سی ڈی نمبرز کو ایڈ کرے گا ریزلٹ آئے گا اس کو آپ نے چیک کرنا ہے کہ وہ ویلیڈ بی سی ڈی نمبر ہے کہ نہیں یا کیری جنریٹ ہوا ہے کہ نہیں ان دونوں کنڈیشنز میں کیری جنریٹ ہوا ہے یا ان ویلیڈ بی سی ڈی نمبر ہے آپ نے آنسر میں چھے ایڈ کرنا ہوگا سو یو ہے بی سی ڈی ان ویلیڈ بی سی ڈی چیکر سرکٹ وہ چیک کرتا ہے اگر غلط ہے دونوں ایرر کنڈیشنز ہیں it would add a 6 to the result using another 4 bit parallel adder so a 4 bit بی سی ڈی ایڈر is made up of 2 4 bit parallel adders آپ دو ڈیجٹ کا تین ڈیجٹ کا چار ڈیجٹ کا جتنے مزید ڈیجٹ چاہیں آپ بنا سکتے ہیں بی سی ڈی ایڈر by connecting this set of 2 parallel 4 bit adders together وہ ہم نے ڈسکس کیا تھا اس کے بعد ہم نے بات کی تھی ایک سبٹریکشن یونٹ کی سبٹریکشن ہم نے کہا تھا کہ جو ٹوز کمپلیمنٹ اگر کسی کا نمبر کسی نمبر کر لیں اس کو دوسرے نمبر میں ایڈ کر دیں بیسکلی you are performing a سبٹریکشن آپریشن سبٹریکشن کرنے کے لیے پرفارم کرنے کے لیے ہمیں کوئی الہدہ سبٹریکشن یونٹ نہیں چاہیے وہی جو فور بیٹ پیرل ایڈر ہے اسی کو یوز کرنا ہے کرتے کیا ہیں اس کا جو اے انپوٹ ہے اس کو اسی طرح رہنے دیتے ہیں جو بی انپوٹ ہے پیرل ایڈر کا اس کے ساتھ ہم ایک سرکٹ کنیک کرتے ہیں اینڈ اور گیٹس کا جو بی انپوٹ کو یا تو انورٹ کر کے پیرل ایڈر کے انپوٹ پہ دیتا ہے یا اسی طرح دے رہا ہے سو اگر ہم نے ایڈ کرنے دو نمبرز تو وہ جو سرکٹ ہے جو بی انپوٹ پہ لگایا ہے وہ ان کمپلیمنٹڈ بی انپوٹ پیرل ایڈر کے انپوٹ پہ دے گا ریزلٹ ہمارے پاس سم ریزلٹ آئے گا اگر آپ نے سبٹریکشن کرنی ہے تو وہی جو اینڈ اور گیٹ کا سرکٹ بنا ہوا ہے وہ بی انپوٹ کو کمپلیمنٹڈ ونس کمپلیمنٹ فارم میں پیرل ایڈر کے انپوٹ پہ دے گا کیری ان جو بیٹ ہے اس کو بی ون کر دے گا سو بیسکلی جو پیرل ایڈر ہے it is working as a سبٹریکٹر اے انپوٹ کو ایڈ کرے گا بی جو ونس کمپلیمنٹ فارم میں اس کو ایڈ کرے گا اور جو کیری ان ہے ون جو ہے اس کو ایڈ کرے گا سو آپ کے پاس ایک سبٹریکشن کا ریزلٹ آ جائے گا Now you could uh, implement uh, a 16 bit, 8 bit, 12 bit, jitne bits ka chahiye aap subtractor implement kar sakte hain. Kaise? Inhi circuit ko, isi circuit ko aap aapas mein jodte jayen. So wo hamne pichhi dafa implementation dekhi thi iski. Iske baad hamne discussion shuru ki thi arithmetic logic unit pe. We said uh, in a computer, the most important part of a computer is a microprocessor chip. Microprocessor mein different units hote hain. Arithmetic logic unit ek baut important unit hai. Arithmetic logic unit karta gaya hai basically. Arithmetic operations perform kar raha hai. Add, subtract, divide, multiply, wagara. Logical operations kar raha hai. And or, or jitne bhi logical operations padhe thai. Woh sare kar raha hai. So ek compact, ek complex kism ka circuit hai. Jis mein ye sare operations ho raha hote hain. اس کے دو ہی انپوٹ ہوں گے جہاں دو آپ نے کونٹیٹیز اپلائے کرنی ہے ایک ہی آؤٹپوٹ ہوگا ڈیفرنٹ فنکشنز کیسے سیلیکٹ کرتے ہیں اور کیسے اے ایل یو کرتا ہے بیسکلی فنکشن سیلیکٹ پنز ہوتی ہیں سو اس میں آپ نے ایک کوڈ اپلائے کریں گے جو ایک فنکشن سیلیکٹ کر لے گا اور جو آپ کا اے ایل یو ہے ایتھمیٹک لوجک یونٹ وہ آپ کو ریزلٹ دے دے گا ہم نے بات کی تھی کہ کمرشلی آپ کے پاس ڈیفرنٹ ٹائپس کے فور بٹ اے ایل یوز اویلیبل ہیں ون ایٹ ون کی بات کی تھی تھری ایٹ ون کی بات کی تھی اور تھری ایٹ ٹو کی بات کی تھی تھری ایٹ ون ہم نے کہا تھا تھرٹی ٹو ڈیفرنٹ ٹائپ آف فنکشن پرفارم کر سکتا ہے ایرمیٹک اور لوجیکل جو تھری ایٹ ون ہے وہ ایک سمال سیٹ آف فنکشن پرفارم کرتا ہے آٹھ ڈیفرنٹ فنکشن پرفارم کرتا ہے اور وہ ہم نے دیکھے تھے کون سے فنکشن پرفارم ہو رہے ہیں اسی طرح تھری ایٹ ٹو بھی تقریباً تھری ایٹ ون اور تھری ایٹ ٹو سملر ہیں تھری ایٹ ون میں جو خاصیت ہے بیسکلی اٹ الاؤز اس ٹو کنیکٹ دیز فور بٹ چپس ٹوگیدر ٹو فارم اے لارجر اے ایل یو سکسٹین بٹ کا اگر اے ایل یو آپ نے بنانا ہے اس میں تو آپ تھری ایٹ ون کو آپس میں کنیکٹ کر سکتے ہیں 
और जो प्रॉब्लम हमें हो रही थी कि जो कैरी प्रोपोगेट होना वो थ्री एट वन में नहीं होगा पिछले से पिछले लेक्चर में हमने लुक हेड कैरी जनरेटर की बात की थी लुक हेड कैरी जनरेटर बेसिकली क्या करता है वो जो आपके एडर पे जो इनपुट्स आपने अप्लाई किए हैं उन इनपुट टर्म्स को देखता है और उन टर्म्स को यूज़ करते हुए वो कैरी की इन्फॉर्मेशन जनरेट करता है कि कैरी जनरेट होगा कि नहीं होगा इसकी वजह से वो जो डिले आ रहा है कैरी प्रोपोगेशन का वो ख़त्म हो रहा है उसमें सो एक सिमिलर सर्किट जो है हम यूज़ करेंगे टू कनेक्ट दिस डिफरेंट फोर बेट ए एल यूज टूगेदर बेसिकली फोर बेट ए एल यू जो है उसमें एक एड्रेस यूनिट भी है सब्ट्रैक्टर यूनिट है तो उसमें भी वो कैरी प्रोपोगेट उसी तरह करेगा सो जो थ्री एट वन हम फोर बेट ए एल यू की बात कर रहे थे उसके आउटपुट पर हमें दो टर्म्स मिल रही हैं जी एंड पी इनको हम कह रहे हैं ग्रुप कैरी टर्म्स ये जो हैं दीज टू टर्म्स आर सिमिलर टू दी सी फोर कैरी आउट सी फोर जो है वो मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट कैरी आउट है किसी भी फोर बेट एडर या फोर बेट ए एल यू का ये जो जी और पी टर्म्स हैं ये बता रही हैं कि सी फोर जो है कैरी होगा कि नहीं होगा इसी तरह अगर आप चार फोर बेट ए एल यूज़ कनेक्ट करें सारों की जी एंड पी टर्म्स आपको मिलेंगे इन सारी जी एंड पी टर्म्स आप अगर एक लुक हेड कैरी जनरेटर पे अटैच कर दें जो लुक हेड कैरी जनरेटर की आउटपुट होगी वो बेसिकली उसी तरह कैरी वन टू थ्री एंड फोर जनरेट करेगा अब ये जो कैरीज जनरेट हो रही हैं ये दो गेट डिले के बाद हो रही हैं तो वो जो प्रोपरगेशन uh, डिले है कैरी की वजह से वो नहीं होगा इन कैरीज जो कैरी लुक हेड कैरी जनरेटर का आउटपुट है जो कैरीज आउटपुट हैं वो आप कहाँ अटैच करेंगे बेसिकली वो हर फोर बेट ए एल यू की जो कैरी इन है उसके साथ अटैच करेंगे इसको समझने के लिए लेट अस हैव ए लुक एट ए डायग्राम और उस उसकी मदद से आगे हम चलते हैं लेट अस फर्स्ट हैव ए लुक एट ए सिंपल ब्लॉक डायग्राम शोइंग द कनेक्शन ऑफ द फोर फोर बेट ए एल यूज टुगेदर सो वी हैव फोर फोर बेट ए एल यूज ए एल यू जीरो ए एल यू वन ए एल यू टू एंड ए एल यू थ्री Each of these four ALUs are connected to appropriate input bits. So, for example, ALU zero adds or subtracts or performs arithmetic logical operations on bits zero to three. Similarly, ALU one performs operations on bits four to seven. ALU two performs operations on bits eight to eleven, and ALU three performs operations on bits twelve to fifteen. Similarly, the outputs of each of these ALUs uh, are four bits. So the output of ALU zero gives uh, bits zero to three. Similarly, output of ALU one gives out the result for bits four to seven, and similarly for ALU two and ALU three. Now, looking at the carry inputs, the ALU zero carry in is connected to a zero or a one if a subtraction is going to be performed. The output from ALU zero is carry out four. Similarly, the carry in to ALU one is carry in four. The output, carry output from ALU one is carry out eight. The carry in to ALU two is carry in eight. Similarly, the carry out from ALU two is carry out twelve. The carry in to ALU three is carry in twelve. The carry out from ALU three is carry out sixteen. Now, in order to implement a sixteen-bit ALU. the carry outputs of each alu is connected to the carry in of the next alu so for example the carry out of alu 0 is connected to the carry in of the alu 1 similarly the carry out of the alu 1 is connected to the carry in of the alu 2 and finally the carry out of the alu 2 is connected to the carry in of the alu 3 Now the carry has to propagate through the ALU zero, through ALU one, two, and ultimately it reaches ALU three. So the last most significant ALU, the ALU three, cannot perform an operation unless it has the carry in twelve. Carry in twelve cannot reach ALU three unless. The ALU two has generated a carry out twelve. Similarly, ALU one has to generate a carry out eight so that it reaches the carry in of ALU two. So therefore, the carry out sixteen from ALU three is delayed. This means the result 
the, uh, the result of the arithmetic operation or the logical operation is going to be delayed. If you have a 32 bit ALU, you would be having 8 such gates connected to each other through their carry outs and carry ins. So, the last uh, ALU, which would be the 8th ALU, would give a carry out after a delay of uh, a delay by a factor of 8. Now, to eliminate the carry propagate, which uh, propagates from one ALU unit to the next and to the next and to the next, we use the 381. 381, as we said before, has two outputs, the group carry outputs. So, ALU0 has the two outputs P0 and G0, the propagate, the carry propagate term and the carry generate term. Similarly, ALU1 has the two terms P1 and G1, the propagate and the generate term. Similarly, ALU2 and 3 both have the P and G outputs. Now, P and G outputs are equivalent to the carry 4 output seen earlier. So, whenever these two bits are set, this indicates the carry 4 is there. Now, a look ahead carry generator is used. It has 8 inputs having the inputs G0, G1, G2, G3 and P0, P1, P2 and P3. So, the uh, carry propagate and carry generates, uh, generate terms generated by each of the 4 ALUs are connected to the input of the look ahead carry generator which are the carry terms generated by the look ahead carry generated uh, generator on the basis of the generate terms and the propagate terms. Each of these carry outputs are connected to the carry ends of the uh, appropriate ALUs. So, for example, C1 carry out from the look ahead carry generator is connected to the C in 4 of ALU 1. The C2 carry 2 output of the look ahead carry generator is connected to the C in 8 of ALU2 and similarly the carry 3 output of the look ahead carry generator is connected to the C in 12 of the ALU3. So now ALU3 the last carry, uh, arithmetic logic unit receives the carry after a gate delay of 2 instead of the carry having to propagate from ALU0 through ALU1 and ALU2. Now, let us have a look at a 16 bit ALU implementation based on 4 381 chips and 182 chip which is the look ahead carry generator chip. Now, looking at the diagram we have used ALU 0, ALU 1, ALU 2 and ALU 3. So, ALU 0 adds or subtracts or performs arithmetic and logical operations on bits 0 to 3. Similarly, ALU 1 performs uh, arithmetic logical operations on bits 4 to 7 and similarly, ALU 2 and ALU 3 perform operations on the most significant 8 bits. The inputs of all these 4 ALUs are connected together shown through the thick lines and labeled A and B. Similarly, the outputs of each of these 4 ALU units are connected together. So, they give an output from bits 0 to 15. The 381 can perform up to 8 different operations. So, any of these 8 different operations are selected by the function select lines S0, S1 and S2. So, the function select lines S0, S1 and S2 of the 4 ALU uh, uh, circuits are connected together. So, let us suppose you need to perform a subtraction. So, all the 4 ALUs have to be configured to perform a subtraction. Similarly, if you need to perform a logical operation, all the 4 ALUs have to be configured to perform the logical operation. Each of the 4 ALUs have the uh, carry generate term and the carry propagate term shown at the output and each output has bubbles. That means, the G term and the P term are active low. The look ahead carry generator 74182 has 8 inputs G0, G1, G2, G3, P0, P1, P2, P3. They are all active low. The output is C1, C2 and C3. So, the G and P outputs of each of the ALUs are connected to the G and P inputs of the 182. C1, C2, C3 
carry outputs are connected to the carry ins of the appropriate ALUs. So, the carry 0 is directly connected to the carry in of the first ALU, ALU 0. It is also connected to the input CU of 182, the look ahead carry generator. The output C1 is connected to the carry in of ALU 1. Similarly, carry 2 is connected to the carry in of ALU 2 and similarly carry 3 is connected to the carry in of ALU 3. We have just looked at the implementation of a 16 bit ALU aur humne char 381 uh, integrated circuits use kiye the uh, unko aapas mein connect kiya tha we have also used a look ahead carry generator to implement the 16 bit ALU isi tarah aap 32 bit bhi implement kar sakte hain isi tarah aap mazid 381 chips use karenge look ahead carry generator use karenge you can have a 16 bit ALU now let us have a look at the comparator unit comparator unit is another functional device पिछले लेक्चर्स में अगर आपको याद हो हमने कंपेरेटर सर्किट का बूलियन एक्सप्रेशंस बनाई थी इसमें दो बिट का कंपेरेटर यूनिट हमने डिस्कस किया था दैट मींस यू हैव टू नंबर्स दोनों नंबर्स में ऑफ टू बिट्स ईच जब आप कंपेयर करें जो कंपेरेटर कंपेयर करेगा दोनों नंबर्स को उनकी दो दो बिट्स आपस में कंपेयर करेगा सो so, अगर दोनों नंबर्स इक्वल हैं कंपेरेटर के आउटपुट पे जो a equals to b आउटपुट है वो 1 हो जाएगा इंडिकेटिंग दैट द टू नंबर्स आर इक्वल सिमिलरली इफ a इज ग्रेटर देन b लार्जर देन b कंपेरेटर का जो आउटपुट है a ग्रेटर देन b वो 1 हो जाएगा इसी तरह अगर a इज लेस देन b कंपेरेटर का जो आउटपुट है a लेस देन b वो 1 हो जाएगा सो वी हैड अ टू बिट कंपेरेटर इस किस्म का जो कंपेरेटर है इसको हम पैरेलल कंपेरेटर कहते हैं क्योंकि अगर आप बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन देखें और अगर आपको याद हो फंक्शन टेबल में वी हैड 16 डिफरेंट इनपुट्स 16 इनपुट्स इसलिए थे क्योंकि वी हैव ए 4 बिट इनपुट टू द कंपेरेटर तो उसके 16 पॉसिबल इनपुट्स बन रहे थे उसके आउटपुट पे हमने ones एंड zeros लिखे थे वी हैड 3 कॉलम्स टू रिप्रेजेंट द a इक्वल्स टू b आउटपुट a ग्रेटर देन b आउटपुट एंड a लेस देन b आउटपुट उनके जो आउटपुट कॉलम में वंस एंड जीरोस आए थे उनकी हमने बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन बनाई थी सो बेसिकली यू हैड थ्री बुलियन एक्सप्रेशंस उनका हम सर्किट भी बना सकते हैं अभी हम देखेंगे उसमें uh, तीनों आउटपुट फंक्शंस के लिए सारी बिट्स साइमल्टेनियसली कंपेयर की जा रही हैं चेक की जा रही हैं देयरफॉर वी कॉल दिस ए पैरेलल कंपेरेटर यूनिट the the thing which we need to talk about is how do we attach more comparator units agar hum let's say char bits ko compare karna ja rahe hain to fir kya karenge can we attach the, uh, two of these jo ek comparator humne bataya it's a two bit comparator to agar hum do two bit comparator attach kar dein do we have a four bit comparator yes we can usme thoda sa hame external logic lagani padegi uh, let's just discuss why we need to have that uh, extra logic to attach the two two bit comparators let us suppose you have two numbers 8 and 9 8 jo hai binary mein kaise represent karenge 1 0 0 0 9 jo hai usko kaise represent karenge binary mein it's 1 0 0 1 now dono jo hai char bit ke number hain ab aapne jab compare karna hai to do most significant bits jo hain 8 ke bhi aur 9 ke bhi wo ek comparator unit two bit comparator unit compare karega aur dusri jo least significant bits hain 8 ki jo hai 00 aur 9 ki 01 wo ek dusra two bit comparator unit compare karega output kaise hamare paas aayegi pehla jo unit hai jo two most significant bits compare kar raha hai वो दोनों जो हैं बराबर मिलेंगे 8 के भी 10 है 9 का भी 10 है सो द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपेरेटर वुड बी a इक्वल्स टू b वुड बी सेट टू 1 अब हमारे पास रिजल्ट नहीं आया अब हम क्या करना है हमने हमने जो लीस्ट टू सिग्निफिकेंट बिट्स हैं उनको भी कंपेयर करना है उस रिजल्ट के बेसिस पे वी कैन डिसाइड के नंबर बड़ा है या छोटा है सो so, जो दूसरा टू बिट कंपेरेटर है वो क्या चेक करेगा द लीस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट टू बिट्स सो 8 जो है नंबर 8 uski jo two least significant bits hain wo 00 zero hain zero nine jo number hai uski two least significant bits kya hain zero one ab in dono ko agar compare kare to let's suppose agar nine jo hai aapne a input pe apply kiye to second jo least significant two bit comparator hai uska a equals to b aapka one aa jayega indicating that a input is greater than b is tarah agar aap do numbers eight and 7 ko compare kar rahe 8 is 1 0 0 0 and 7 is 0 1 1 1 
एक जो टू बिट कंपेरेटर है वो कंपेयर करेगा टू मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट्स सो एट इज द टू मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट्स ऑफ एट इज वन जीरो एंड द टू मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट्स ऑफ सेवन आर जीरो एंड वन सो पहला जो कंपेरेटर है वो कंपेयर करेगा वन जीरो को जीरो वन से इट वुड इमीजिएटली से दैट एट इज ग्रेटर दैन सेवन दूसरे कंपेरेटर की जरूरत नहीं पड़ रही इसमें सो दे आर डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज सर्किट अल्टीमेटली क्या होगा कंपेरेटर जो पहला वाला कंपेरेटर है जो टू मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट्स को कंपेयर कर रहा है और जो दूसरा वाला कंपेरेटर है जो लीस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट्स को कंपेयर कर रहा है उनके आउटपुट्स जो हैं आपस में एंड एंड और गेट की एक कॉम्बिनेशन uh, से कनेक्ट होंगे उसमें लेट इज फर्स्ट हैव ए लुक एट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द टू बिट पैरल कंपेरेटर पहले हमने पिछले लेक्चर में uh, तीन एक्सप्रेशन डिराइव की थी ए ग्रेटर दैन बी उसकी एक्सप्रेशन जो है ए वन बी वन बार प्लस ए नॉट बी वन बार बी नॉट बार प्लस ए वन ए नॉट बी नॉट बार इसको हम इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं यूजिंग एंड गेट्स और गेट्स एंड इन्वर्टर्स जो सर्किट है वो इधर आपको देख नज़र आ रहा है द इनपुट्स आर ए वन बी वन ए नॉट बी नॉट एंड ऑफ कोर्स द आउटपुट इज सेट टू वन वन ए इज ग्रेटर दैन बी Similarly, the Boolean expression derived for a equals to b output was a one bar, a not bar, b one bar, b not bar plus a one bar, a not b one bar, b not plus a one, a not b one, b not plus a one, a not bar, b one and b not bar. इसकी जो implementation है again एक single OR gate use हो रहा है, चार AND gates use हो रहे हैं and different inverters use हो रहे हैं. इसकी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एक्सक्लूसिव और एक्सक्लूसिव नॉर गेट से भी की जा सकती है इसमें इनपुट्स वही चार हैं ए वन ए जीरो बी वन बी जीरो आउटपुट ए इक्स टू बी इज सेट टू वन वन द टू नंबर्स आर इक्वल फाइनली द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन डिराइव फॉर द ए लेस देन बी आउटपुट इज ए वन बार बी वन प्लस ए वन बार ए नॉट बार बी नॉट प्लस ए नॉट बार बी वन बी नॉट This uh, expression can be implemented using an OR gate, three AND gates, and four inverters. The input to this circuit is again A1, B1, A0, B0, and the output A less than B is set to one when A uh, number is less than number B. Now let us look at the four-bit comparator circuit implemented using two two-bit comparators. So you have a two-bit most significant comparator and a two bit least significant comparator represented by m and l respectively the two most significant bits of the four bit number are compared by the most significant comparator and the least significant two bits of the two numbers are compared by the least significant two bit comparator now let us consider different input combinations input number a is 1101 which is 13 and input number b is 7 so 13 is of course larger than 7 now the first comparator the most significant comparator compares bits 1 1 of number a and bits 0 1 of number b it immediately sets its output a greater than b and we have the answer let us consider the second case the number a is 0 1 1 0 which is 6 and number b is 1 0 1 1 which is 11 number b is greater than a now the most significant two bit comparator compares bits 0 1 of number a and 1 0 of number b now 1 0 is greater than 0 1 so therefore uh, the comparator the most significant two bit comparator sets its a less than b output to 1 and we have the answer let us now consider the third case the number a is 0011 and number b is 0010 11 represents 3 10 represents 2 now the most significant two bit comparator compares 00 bits of number a and 00 bits of number b since both uh, the two bits are equal therefore the output of the most significant two bit comparator m is set to 1 for a equals to b output now we don't have the answer the least significant comparator compares bits 11 of number a with 10 bits of number b since 11 is greater than 10 therefore the output a greater than b of comparator 2 uh, the least significant comparator, uh, comparator is set to 1 let us compare the, uh, let us see the fourth case number a is 0100 number b is 0101 
Now, the most significant comparator compares 0, 1 bits of the number A and 0, 1 bits of the number B. Since both are equal, therefore, the A equals to B output of the most significant comparator is a 1. The least significant comparator compares bits 0, 0 of number A and 0, 1 of number B. Now, B is greater than A. Uh, so, the output of the least significant comparator A less than B is set to 1. The last case when the two numbers are equal. So, number A is 1001, number B is again 1001. Now, the output A equals to B of the most significant comparator and the output A equals to B of the least significant comparator both are set to 1. Now, let us have a look at the circuit diagram of the 4 bit comparator unit. The outputs of the most significant 2 bit comparator A greater than B is connected to an OR gate. A is equal to B is connected to 3 AND gates. So, basically A equals to B output enables the 3 AND gates. Similarly, the output A less than B of the most significant comparator is connected to the input of another OR gate. Looking at the second uh, 2 bit comparator, the least significant 2 bit comparator, it is A greater than B output is connected to one of the inputs of the AND gate. Similarly, A equals to B output is connected to the other input of the AND gate and A less than B output is connected to the input of the third AND gate. The outputs of the first AND gate and the last AND gate are connected to the inputs of the two OR gates representing the output A greater than B and A less than B respectively. The output of the second AND gate represents the output A equals to B. Now, if the most significant uh, 2 bit comparator compares two 2 bit numbers and finds them to be equal, the A equals to B output is set to 1 which enables the AND gates. We do not have the answer. The 2 bit least significant comparator needs to compare the numbers and it is going to set one of its outputs to 1. Assuming the number A is larger than B, the output of the least significant 2 bit comparator A greater than B would be set to 1, all the other two outputs would remain at 0. So, the output of the first AND gate would be set to 1, the output of the A greater than B OR gate would be set to 1. Similarly, uh, the outputs of A less than B and A equals to B, uh, B would be set to 1 depending on the appropriate numbers. We have looked at the implementation of a 4 bit comparator unit. Basically, two 2 bit comparator units are connected together. Some external logic in the form of AND gates and OR gates is required. If you have 6 bit comparator unit or 8 bit comparator unit, you can use 2 bit comparator units. You can use the external logic. Now, by using this external logic, the size of the circuit is going to increase. So, just imagine that if you have a 16-bit comparator unit, then there will be a lot external logic used. So, it would have been better if this external logic is inside the integrated circuit. The comparator chip is logic available, ho, then uh, the connection of two 2-bit comparators to form a 4-bit comparator would be easier. You don't external logic use nahi karni padegi, circuit size bhi, uh, small. If you are using parallel comparators, use kar rahe, to phir external logic aapko use karni padegi. Ek tarika to implement these comparator units is to use iterative circuits. Iterative circuits basically kya hai? If you remember the single bit full adder, Basically, you implemented a 4-bit parallel adder using 4 of these single-bit full adders. What did you do? You had a single-bit full adder, 4 circuits connected to each other, a 4-bit parallel adder. You didn't have any external logic in that. So, a single-bit full adder is an example of an iterative circuit. Its 4 copies were every copy which is the same as one copy. A copy ki jo output hai, wo dusre circuit mein uske input pe connected hai. Isi tarah dusra jo circuit hai, jo bilkul identical copy hai pehle ki, uski output jo hai connect ho rahi hai, ek tisre circuit ke input pe and so on. So, iterative circuit jo hai, hum use kar sakte hai to implement a comparator. So, comparator mein, let's talk about A equals to B. A equals to B jo detector circuit hai, uska iterative circuit kaise bhanega? 
An exclusive NOR gate is used to detect if the two uh, bits are equal. So if both bits are 1, 1, the output of the exclusive NOR gate would be a 1. If both bits are 0, 0, the output of the exclusive NOR gate would be again a 1. Now, iterative circuit uh, exclusive NOR gate ka kaise bhanega? Well, we have a combination of an exclusive NOR gate and an AND gate. Exclusive NOR gate ki output jo hai, wo connect ho jayegi ek AND gate ke input pe. Dusri jo input hai AND gate ki, wo hum permanently set kar denge 1 pe. So, what is the output of the AND gate? It is going to be 1 if the output of the exclusive NOR gate is 1. If exclusive NOR gate ki output is 0, hai, that means both the uh, bits are not equal, the output of the AND gate would be a 0. Now, let us consider another circuit, just may again, ye aapke paas exclusive NOR gate hai connected to the input of another AND gate. The pehle wale circuit ki output hai from the AND gate, if it is connected to the input of the second AND gate, second jo module bhan raha hai, jo iterative circuit bhan raha hai Ab humare paas kya ho gaya? Humare paas ek circuit bhan gaya, jo do bits ko compare kar raha hai. Ab wo check kar raha hai ki dono bits equal hain ki nahi hain. So, jo dusra module hai, again it would be comparing bit, uh, the second bit of number A and the second bit of number B. Agar equal hai, exclusive NOR gate ka output kya aayega? 1 aa jayega. Pehle ka bhi output 1 tha. So, output of the two bit circuit would be a 1. Agar exclusive NOR gate ka output 1 nahi hai, that means the second bit of number A and the second bit of number B both are not equal, the output of the AND gate would be a 0. So, similarly, you can implement an 8 bit, 16 bit, uh, 32 bit comparator unit using these iterative circuits. Isi tana, a greater than B jo circuit hai, uska bhi ek iterative circuit bhanaya ja sakta hai. So, you would have identical copies, they can be connected together. Let us have a look at the circuit diagrams of both these circuits. Let us have a look at the iterative circuit implementation of A equals to B function. Seen in the figure, we have module 0 and module 1. These two modules represent two iterative circuits for the A equals to B function. Module 0 looks at bits A0 and B0. If they are equal, the output of the exclusive NOR gate is 1. The input of the AND gate is permanently set to 1. The output of the AND gate would be 1 if bits A0 and B0 are equal. If they are not equal, the output of the AND gate would be A0. Now, looking at the second module, module 1, it compares bits A1 and B1. Now, if the output is A1, that means bits A1 and B1 are equal. If previously bits A0 and B0 had been equal, the output from module 0 would be A1. Now, what is the output of module 2? In case the numbers are equal, the AND gate of module 1 would have both its inputs set to 1, the output would be A1, indicating that both numbers are equal. Let us suppose that bits A0 and B0 are not equal and bits A1 and B1 are equal. What is the output of the AND gate in module 0? It would be A0. What is the output of the AND gate in module 1? It would be 0 because one of the inputs to the AND gate is A0. Let us consider the case when bits A0 and B0 are equal and bits A1 and B1 are not equal. So, the output of the AND gate in module 0 would be A1. The output of the exclusive NOR gate uh, in module 1 would be A0. The output of the AND gate in module 1 would be A0 because one of its inputs from the exclusive NOR gate is A0. To form a 4-bit comparator unit, similar modules can be connected together. The input in module 0 which is connected to 1 is known as the cascading input. Similarly, the input to the AND gate in module 1 is also known as a cascading input. Similarly, the outputs from the two AND gates in module 0 and 1 are known as the cascading outputs. So, in order to form a 4 bit or an 8 bit comparator unit, the cascading inputs are connected to the cascading outputs of the appropriate uh, modules or the iterative circuits. The cascading input of the least significant iterative circuit, module 0 in this case, is connected to 1. 
the output A equals to B would be obtained from the most significant iterative circuit or module. Let us now look at the iterative circuit implementation of A greater than B function. Seen in this diagram, we have a 2 bit implementation of the A greater than B function using the iterative circuits. Looking at module 0, it has an exclusive NOR gate, 2 AND gates, an OR gate and an inverter. Let us suppose A0 is equal to B0. The output of the exclusive NOR gate would be A1. Since the cascading input of the AND gate is permanently set to 0, the output would be A0. Now, the output of the OR gate in module 0 would only be A1 when A is greater than B. Similarly, looking at module 1, the output of the OR gate would be A1 when A1 is gre greater than B1 or the cascading output from module 0 is A1. 4 bit, 8 bit or 16 bit uh, comparator units can be formed which uh, generate the output A greater than B by connecting these uh, modules together. So, the least significant modules output cascading output is connected to the cascading input of the second module. Similarly, the cascading output of the second module is connected to the cascading input of the third module and so on. In this case, the cascading input of the least significant module is connected to 0. The cascading output of the most significant uh, module would give the function output A greater than B. To implement A less than B function, a similar iterative circuit can be formed and such uh, circuits can be connected together to form a 4 bit, 8 bit or 16 bit A less than B function. We have just looked at the iterative implementation of a comparator circuit. In the iterative implementation, basically uh, we designed a single module and copies of that particular module can be used connected together to form an n bit comparator unit. A equals to B ki humne example dekhi, A greater than B ki example dekhi. Similarly, A less than B ki bhi isi tarah ki ek iterative circuit banaya ja sakta which can be con uh, uh, connected together to form an n bit uh, unit. Now, commercially these comparator units are available based on the iterative circuit which we have just discussed. The 7485 is one such unit, it is basically a 4 bit comparator unit. Now, in order to form let us say a 12 bit comparator unit, you would get 3 of these chips and you would be connecting them together. As we mentioned before, uh, these iterative based comparative uh, comparator circuits have cascading inputs and cascading outputs. So, cascading output of the least significant unit would be connected to the cascading inputs of the next uh, higher uh, unit and similarly the cascading uh, outputs of the uh, second unit would be connected to the cascading inputs of the most significant unit. The inputs, the cascading inputs of the least significant unit would be permanently connected to zeros or uh, binary 1, uh, 5 volts and 0 volt. The circuit which uh, compares and generates an output for A greater than B and A less than B, its cascading inputs are connected to 0 volts and the circuit which compares A equals to B has its cascading input connected to 5 volts. Let us have a look of the implementation using the 7485. To implement the 12 bit comparator unit, 3 4 bit 7485 4 bit comparator chips are used. The, f the least significant 4 bit comparator compares bits 0 to 3, the middle comparator unit compares uh, bits 4 to 7 and the most significant comparator unit compares bits 8 to 11. Uh, the appropriate inputs are tied together shown by thick lines. The cascading input of the first comparator unit is connected to 0 volts, 5 volts and 0 volts. The A less than B cascading input is connected to 0, the A greater than B uh, cascading input is also connected to 0 volts. The A equals to B cascading input is connected to 5 volts. The cascading outputs A less than B, A equals to B and A greater than B of the first comparator unit is connected to the cascading inputs, the respective cascading inputs of the second comparator unit. 
Similarly, the cascading outputs of the second comparator unit is connected to the cascading inputs of the third, the most significant 4 bit comparator unit. The outputs, the cascading outputs from the third most significant comparator unit A less than B, A equals to B, A greater than B are set to 1s or zeros depending on the two numbers. So, let us suppose A is greater than B, the cascading output A greater than B of comparator unit 3 would be set to 1. Similarly, if the two numbers are equal, the cascading output A equals to B of the third comparator unit would be set to 1. We have just looked at the implementation of a 12 bit uh, comparator circuit using the 4 bit uh, 7485 uh, iterative based uh, circuits. Connection was uh, straightforward, there is no complication ki baat nahi. Uh, uh, jo cascading inputs and cascading outputs and we basically use kar rahe. And as I have mentioned before, you can implement 16 bit, 32 bit, uh, n bit uh, comparator unit bana sakte by connecting the uh, chips together. Now, the next uh, important unit which we need to talk about is the decoder unit. Decoder unit uh, commonly used in digital logic. Mein. Decoder circuit hai kya? Basically, a decoder circuit has multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Now, if you apply a multi bit code at the input of the decoder, it is going to select one or uh, more than one of its outputs to indicate the presence of that code, right. So, you have a circuit, multiple inputs, multiple outputs, a code of apply karenge input pe, uski wajah se output pe ya ek bit, ek output uh, activate ho jayega ya multiple outputs activate ho jayenge. Let us consider an example. Let us suppose you design a digital lock. Lock pe agar aap 4 bit number 11 up apply karen, to wo lock ho jana chahiye. Usko unlock karne ke liye, aap again ek dusra koi 4 bit combination apply karen, usse unlock ho jana chahiye. So, the combination which you apply to uh, lock the door is let us suppose 11, right. So, 1 0 1 1 and the combination which you apply to unlock the door is 9 1 0 0 1. So, circuit kaise banayenge? Basically, to lock the door, you have to design a circuit which accepts the number 11 and sets the output to 1. 1 indicates that the door has been locked. Similarly, to unlock the door, you need to design a circuit which accepts the combination 1 0 0 1 and sets its output to 1 which indicates that the lock has been uh, unlocked, the door has been unlocked. Now, how do we implement the door lock circuit? Basically, you use AND gate, 4 input AND gate use karenge. 1 0 1 1 pe output 1 ho jani chahi. So, kya circuit hoga? 4 input AND gate, 1 directly connect karenge, 0 jo hai wo through an inverter connect karenge, baki jo 2 bits hai 1 1, wo again uh, aap directly connect kar denge AND gate ke inputs pe. The output would be a 1 only when you apply 1 0 1 1. Let us have the, a look at the circuit which unlocks the door. The combination is 1001 number 9. Again, you would use another AND gate, 4 input AND gate. 1 jo hai directly connect ho gaya. Uske baad do jo zeros aare, they are connected to the inputs of the AND gate through two inverters. And finally, the last bit 1, it is directly connected to the input of the AND gate. So, the output of the AND gate would be a 1 when you apply the combination 1001. Now, this is a simple example of a decoder. Aapne char input combinations apply ki, kisi do combination pe circuit output 1 honge. 11 pe lock karega, 9 pe unlock karega. Koi or combination denge, the circuit would not work. Now, the most common um, decoder which we use is a 2 to 4 decoder circuit. Iske do inputs hai and 4 outputs hai. Now, how does a 2 to 4 decoder work? Basically, two inputs hain, to kya combinations ho sakte hain? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Output pe, humare paas, char outputs hain, as we have said before. So, agar 0, 0 select hogi, un charo mein se ek output activate ho jayega. Jab 0, 1 input combination apply karenge, Dusra output hai, wo activate ho jayega, baaki jo teen out, uh, outputs hai, wo inactive rahenge. Similarly, 1, 0 combination apply karenge, uske baad 1, 1 apply karenge, to appropriate outputs jo hai, wo activate ho jayenge. 
Let us have a look at the implementation of this 2 to 4 decoder circuit. Let us uh, have a look at the function diagram which represents the function of this 2 to 4 decoder. Let us first have a look at the electronic door lock. The circuit shows 2, 4 input AND gates and 3 inverters. The electronic door lock is within the box. The inputs to the electronic door lock are A, B, C and D. The outputs are of course 2, lock and unlock. Now when the combination 1, 0, 1, 1 is applied at the input, the lock output is set to 1 and when a combination 1, 0, 0, 1 is applied, the unlock output is set to 1. For all other combinations, the lock output and the unlock output remains at 0. Now, let us look at the implementation of a 2 to 4 binary decoder. Before we look at the circuit diagram, let us look at the function table of the 2 to 4 binary decoder. The 2 to 4 binary decoder has 2 inputs and 4 outputs. The 2 inputs are represented by I0 and I1 and the 4 outputs are represented by O0, the output 0, O1, O2 and O3. Now for the input combinations 0, 0, output 0 should be active. Similarly, for input combinations 0, 1, the output 1 should be active, all other uh, outputs should remain at 0. Similarly, for combination input combination 1, 0, the output 2 should be active, other outputs should remain inactive. And finally, for the input combination 1, 1, the output 3 should be 1 the remaining output should be 0. Now this function can be implemented through a set of 4 AND gates and 2 inverters. So as seen in the diagram, the 2 inverter outputs are connected to the inputs of the uh, first AND gate O0. Now when input 0 and input 1 are both set to 0, the outputs of the inverters are 1s and the output of the first AND gate O0 is a 1. Similarly, looking at the last AND gate, the non-inverted inputs are connected to the inputs of the AND gate. So when both inputs are 1s, the output of the last AND gate is 1. Similarly, for the second and third AND gate, a combination of inverted and non-inverted inputs are applied. We have looked at the implementation of a simple 2 to 4 decoder. Uh, there are different types of decoders available in different configurations. 2 to 4 decoder have, 3 to 8 have, 4 to 16 have, have dual uh, 2 to 4 decoders and different combinations and aap inko different combinations saath attach kar sakte hain, connect kar sakte hain to form large, uh, larger uh, decoders. Humne shuru mein uh, padha tha BCD to 7 segment decoder, wo bhi ek decoder hai. Uh, it is different from uh, this particular 2 to 4 decoder. Uh, BCD to 7 segment decoder mein you apply certain code, a BCD code, uski output jo hai multiple outputs activate ho jate hai, depending on the appropriate segments. Wo hum baad mein dekhenge usme. Isi tarah aapke paas BCD to decimal decoder hai. BCD that means apply aap BCD number karenge, output kitne honge? 10 output honge because it's a BCD to decimal. So output 10 honge 0 se 9. So each output rep would represent one decimal number from 0 to 9. Now where do we use these decoders? Basically digital systems mein do gism ke applications hain jahan decoders use hote hain asme. Ek to application hai selection of different devices. Kisi computer mein ya kisi digital system mein aapke paas different devices hain. So wo jo different devices hain they are selected one after the other. So, how do select karenge? basically her device ka ek address? Hoga. So, let's say a device A, hai, let's say a modem, its address is 0110. One other device is hard disk, its address is 0111. So, if you select a modem, then you apply the code 0110, which is its address. Hai. Isi tarah, agar apne hard disk, uh, select a hard disk, you apply the code. Ye code kahan apply karenge? You would have a similar decoder circuit. Decoder ke inputs pe ye code apply karenge. Uska appropriate output jo hai, wo activate ho jayega. Decoder ka output jo hai, in devices ke input pins ke saath attached hoga, jo in devices ko select karta hai. Ye wohi example hai, jo humne door, lock and unlock uh, ki study ki thi. Agar usi ko aap expand karen, Let's say you have 4 inputs, so how many input combinations apply? 16 input combinations apply. 
اسی طرح اگر اس سرکٹ کو آپ ایکسپینڈ کر کے آپ کے پاس سکسٹین آؤٹ پٹس ہو جائیں تو دیٹ مینز آپ کے پاس لت سے سکسٹین ریدر ایٹ ڈورز ہیں جن کو آپ لاک اینڈ ان لاک کر سکتے ہیں سو زیرو 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 ایک دروازہ جو لاک کر دے گا زیرو 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 ون وڈ اوپن دیٹ سیم ڈور سیملرلی ٹو جو ہے ایک کسی دوسرے دروازے کو لاک کرے گا تھری جو کمبینیشن ہے اسی دروازے کو اوپن کر دے گا یا آپ لائٹ جو سوئچز ہیں آن آف ان کو کنٹرول کر سکتے ہیں یا کسی ڈیوائس کو کنٹرول کر سکتے ہیں اس میں سو ڈی کوٹرز کین بی یوز ٹو سلیکٹ ڈیوائسز اینڈ ان فیکٹ کمپیوٹر سسٹم میں یہی کام کر رہے ہوتے ہیں دوسرا جو ان کی اپلیکیشن ہے بیسکلی انسٹرکشنز جو ہیں آپ وین یو رائٹ اے پروگرام وہ الٹیمیٹلی جب آپ اس کو کمپائل کرتے ہیں تو وہ جتنا بھی کوڈ ہے وہ ایک مشین کوڈ میں چینج ہو جاتا ہے بائنری کوڈ میں چینج ہو جاتا ہے یہ کوڈ جب آپ کمپیوٹر میں پروگرام چلاتے ہیں ایگزیکیوٹ کرتے ہیں سو یور کمپیوٹر فیچ از ون انسٹرکشن لکس ایٹ دی بائنری پیٹرن سو بائنری پیٹرن کیا ہے وہ بیسکلی ہر انسٹرکشن کے ساتھ اپنا ایک یونیک بائنری پیٹرن ہوگا جو بتائے گا کہ یہ انسٹرکشن کر کیا رہی ہے ایڈ کر رہی ہے لاجیکل آپریشن پرفارم کر رہی ہے یا کوئی کمانڈ ہے کہ آپ نے کوئی چیز آپ نے سیو ویریبل سیو کرنا ہے میموری میں کمپیوٹر کو کیسے پتہ لگے گا کہ کیا آپریشن کرنا ہے بیسکلی وہ جو بائنری کوڈ آ رہا ہے وہ آپ ایک ڈی کوڈر کے ان پٹ پہ اپلائی کریں گے ڈی کوڈر کا ایک آؤٹ پٹ جو ہے ایکٹیویٹ ہو جائے گا وہ آؤٹ پٹ جو ہے کنیکٹ ہوگا اپروپریٹ ڈیوائس کے ساتھ سو لیٹ سے زیرو 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 ون ریپرزینٹس دی ایڈ آپریشن اپروپریٹ آؤٹ پٹ ایکٹیویٹ ہوگا وہ ایک ایڈر یونٹ کے ساتھ اٹیچڈ ہوگا سو وہ ایڈر یونٹ کو بتائے گا کہ اب ایڈ کرنا ہے سملرلی دی انسٹرکشن ون زیرو 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 کوڈ مین سیو ویریبل ان دی میموری سو وین یو اپلائی دس ون زیرو 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 کوڈ ایٹ دا ان پٹ آف اے ڈی کوڈر دی اپروپریٹ آؤٹ پٹ وڈ بی سلیکٹڈ یہ جو اپروپریٹ آؤٹ پٹ ہے یہ کنیکٹ ہوگا میموری چپ کے ساتھ سو جب بھی ایکٹیو ہوگا میموری کو آپ نے انفارم کر دیا کہ ایک پرٹیکولر ویریبل آپ نے سیو کرنا لیٹ اس ناؤ لک ایٹ سم کمرشلی اویلیبل ڈی کوڈرز وی ہیو اے ٹو ٹو فور ڈی کوڈر اینڈ ٹو آف دیز ڈی کوڈرز آر اویلیبل ان اے چپ سو لیٹ اس ہیو اے لک ایٹ دی فنکشن ڈائیگرام آف دس ڈی کوڈر اینڈ دی سرکٹ یہ جو ٹو ٹو فور ڈی کوڈر ہے یہ سلائٹلی ڈفرنٹ ہے فرام دی سرکٹ وچ وی ہیو جسٹ سین اس میں ایک انیبل ان پٹ انکارپریٹ کیا گیا ہوا ہے سو جب بھی ڈی کوڈر کو آپ نے یوز کرنا یو وڈ آف کورس فرسٹ انیبل دی چپ جب آپ نے یوز نہیں کرنا آف کورس یو وڈ ڈسیبل دی چپ سو لیٹ اس ہیو اے لک لیٹ اس ہیو اے لک ایٹ سیون فور ون تھری نائن ڈیول ٹو ٹو فور ڈی کوڈر دیٹ مینس ان دس چپ یو ہیو ٹو 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 فور ڈی کوڈرز دی فنکشن ٹیبل آف دس ٹو ٹو فور ڈی کوڈر از شون اٹ ہیز ان پٹس بی اینڈ اے اینڈ این ادر ان پٹ وچ از دی چپ انیبل ان پٹ جی اٹ از ایکٹیو لو دی آؤٹ پٹس آف دس ٹو ٹو فور ڈی کوڈر آر وائی ناٹ وائی ون وائی ٹو اینڈ وائی تھری دے آر آل ایکٹیو لو Now, in order to use this uh, decoder, the enable pin has to be activated. So, since it is active low, it has to be connected to logic 0 to activate the chip. So, as seen in the function table, the first row, G input is 1. Therefore, uh, the output of all the four pins remains a 1, no matter what the input is. If the enable pin is set to 0, as seen in the second row if you apply an input 0 0 the y not output is selected since it is active low therefore you see a 0 there the remaining outputs are are set to 1 or remain at 1 similarly when g input is 0 the chip is activated the inputs are 0 1 y 1 output is selected it is seen to be 0 remaining outputs are set to 1 For input 1, 0, the output y2 is selected. For the input 1, 1, the output y3 is selected. Looking at the circuit diagram of the 74139, you have four NAND gates with bubbles at the outputs. NAND gates have been used because the outputs are active low. Similarly, instead of uh, using two inverters, you see five inverters. One inverter is used for the enable pin. It is active low. So, inverter uh, converts the active low input to active high and connects it or enables the four NAND gates. The inputs B and A are connected through two inverters. The reason for connecting 
two extra inverters is to reduce the load seen by the input. Let us suppose the two extra inverters are not available at the inputs B and A. So, if this particular decoder circuit is connected to the output of another logic circuit, how many unit loads would it see? Basically, it would see an inverter and two NAND gates. So, three unit loads are seen. So, if you remember the fan out term, any circuit can be connected to a fixed number of gates. So, in this particular case, if the two NOT gates are missing, the fan out, assuming the fan out to be 10, the fan out of the circuit would reduce to 7. By connecting the extra inverter, the unit load has been reduced from 3 to 1. We have just looked at the implementation of a dual 2 to 4 decoder. As I have said before, there are different types of uh, decoders. Then come implementation next lecture may be. Agli lecture tak khuda hafiz na assalamu alaikum.